hello and welcome back to another video today i'm going to be doing eyeshadows that remind me of christmas so i'm going to go through my collection and swatch out a couple of eyeshadows that i've pulled out because they really remind me of christmas please excuse how like weird and odd and wonky my nails look um i tried doing my own poly gel nails at home so if you want to see that i did film it so i will link the video and so let's get started the first two colors that i think of when i think of christmas are obviously red <laughs> and um green and one palette that has two of those colors in is the jackie irona palette so the two colors that really remind me of christmas are these two so i'll swatch them starting off with wigglies which is a gorgeous red color It is just absolutely gorgeous and then sponsored is a gorgeous brown green color got a brown base and a green shift so you can see in that lighting how gorgeous they both look so they are the first two shades that I think of when I think of Christmas. Another palette that I have that has a red shimmer that just screams Christmas to me is the Natasha Denona Bronze palette and it is high degree. I will swatch it here so it's next to the other one. You can see it's definitely more of a um, bronzy kind of brown red rather compared to um, Wigglies, which is more of a true cherry red but if you kind of don't have that it definitely looks red on the eyes and is a bit more wearable and subtle than this bright brighter red but that is I'd say the main colour another colour that I really think of for Christmas is obviously gold and I feel like true bronze and alloy are two very gorgeous goldy colours. I can't remember which was which, I think that was Alloy. So as you can see, they, although they look so similar here, they give off completely different textures. So Alloy is more of a smooth, complete colour and True Bronze is more of a kind of glistening top coat. So it has the same sort of shine, but it's just less pigmented. So it'd be gorgeous to top over something would be gorgeous topped over this shade for an ultimate Christmassy look yeah look that's gorgeous so it's got the red base from high degree and then true bronze tapped over the top to give it the gold shine I think that is gorgeous this is looking extremely Christmassy to me I feel like we've got two reds we've got two golds we need to add another green into the mix and an obvious palette for that is the child palette from Colourpop as you can see, I definitely am thinking more shimmers of shadows that remind me of Christmas. So I'm first going to start with Sipping Soup, which is gorgeous lighter green compared to Sponsored. And that is that shade. It definitely has a golden shift, which definitely makes me then think of Christmas. Now going more of a greeny gold to the shade called The Force which is again another gorgeous just kind of shimmery shade and then although I'm obviously mainly focusing on shimmers I feel like Float Your Crib is just Christmas tree coloured matte and therefore has to be included in the swatches so I definitely feel like that is another colour that just completely reminds me of Christmas and probably the only matte I'm going to include. To be honest you could just say this is a Christmas tree palette. You've got the different green tones of the tree and the trunk and then all of the different shimmery baubles you might have on it. Another way to go for the Christmassy feel is definitely towards this top row of glitters. I'm going to swatch a couple of them on my arm here. Right, so when I'm looking at these shadows, I feel like this shadow is definitely more New Year's than Christmas. Um, I 
definitely think that this is a very Christmassy glitter. It's just extremely golden and reflective and absolutely gorgeous. Definitely a very Christmassy glitter, as glitters are just Christmassy in general. Then another shade that I think is just completely Christmas is obviously to go for the more silver shade. I definitely say that this is my most used glitter in this palette because I feel like it's so easy just to pair on top of any shade that I might want to add it to or any eye look that I've done it just goes perfectly and I'd say that obviously all of these glitters really remind me of Christmas but I'm only going to swatch these two as I think you know you've got gold and silver and they are just perfect and I don't want to swatch too many glitters because I will have them all over me for the rest of the week. A another palette that is full of just great golden tones for Christmas is the Naked Honey. So as you can see, obviously these are very goldeny, Christmassy colours, but I think golden, oops, golden has got to be the most um, Christmassy gold shade. Look how just golden, true golden that is, compared to. It's very similar to it's more it's more yellowy and golden than um this shade from the natasha denona palette i can't remember exactly which one that was this shade is definitely more yellow gold and makes this shade feel way more amber which is strange because this shade is more honey to me compared to this golden shade but then obviously there is then the shade amber in this palette yeah it's definitely is still I'd say very different to this one this is definitely a more brighty orange type shade I'd say this amber shade is quite bronzy in comparison to this Natasha Denona shade which is interesting because I'd have thought it's called amber it looks oranger especially compared to these more yellow tones but swatch next to an even more orangey amber shade it doesn't look that amber and then obviously the most yellow gold in this palette honey it looks so um, opaque on my finger. I'm just like my finger's a little Christmas bauble, but it isn't swatching that opaque compared to um, the other shade from this palette. It is a gorgeous colour though. A another route to take that has not been um, explored with the colours that I've swatched, swatched so far is a deep plummy shade, and I feel like the Naked Cherry supplies shades like this so I definitely think um, Young Love is a gorgeous more deep purple shade more of a kind of red wine type colour along with Privacy which is definitely more of a brown actually once it looks very plummy in the um, palette but definitely looks more brown when you actually swatch it out and I'm just gonna swatch drunk dial as I feel like it's those two shades mixed together you could almost I wonder miss this shade out of this palette if you just layered um, young love I'll just layer it over the edge on top of privacy you'd get that shade I mean it's definitely a bit more bright but compared to this one but definitely get the same effect so these sort of plummy colours also remind me of Christmas so I feel like I've managed I've swatched out quite a few eyeshadows how many have I picked out so I have pulled out 16 shades and this colour palette just completely I should have done it all down my arms I always start on the back of my hands and then I realise you really I don't have much real estate I can't fit much in um, but I definitely feel like this colour palette really reminds me of Christmas I feel like golds, greens and reds are definitely what I'm more drawn to initially but then I definitely think that plummy, deep, um, mulled winey type colours definitely have a place in Christmas eyeshadow as well. Please leave down below your favourite Christmassy eyeshadows if you know what you're going to be doing eye look wise for Christmas please let me know down below I'm really intrigued to see what shade pe other people think of when they think of Christmas if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and I will hopefully see you in my next video